it's not quite one o'clock, so we'll wait a few minutes. Or a minute or two. I've got Oliver over here making an example for you guys so that you can kind of see what we're going to be doing. Oh, um, I don't know what we're going to do. We're painting. I'm painting a circle. <laughs> Say hi. Hi, guys. <laughs> All right. So today what we're going to be doing is just another really quick art project. Last week we talked about doing the ink and watercolor drawings, um, and that was super short, super easy to do. I wanted to bring something else like that to you guys. So what we're going to talk about today is puffy paint or puff paint. I've got an example here of what, what we're going to be thinking. Hey, now every time I do this as a craft project or an art project in story time, all the moms are always asking me, how do you do that? That's so cool. It's really neat. Well, I've been trying to do uh, activities that I think that you might have the materials for at home. So going back to the, some, some of the materials that we had for Easter, if you have some shaving foam, you're going to need that for today. So if you have shaving foam, that's one of the things that you need. It's one of the main ingredients. And then just regular school glue. Actually, I happen to have a couple of the big jugs down at the DOS, so I ran down there and got these. Uh, but you can just use the glue out of a bottle. You don't need a ton of it. Okay, I'm painting. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so you need shaving cream glue. And then you'll also need food coloring, food coloring and some colors that you like. You will need definitely some paper towels, some wipes, something to clean up with because this can be pretty messy. Um, you will need a bowl or some kind of container and something to stir with. Okay, you'll probably need several of these because you'll want different colors. You will need a cup with some water because we need to rinse out our brush in between colors. Or you can get a brush for each um, container that you have for each color. And then just some paper that you can color on. This is uh, paint on. This is just white construction paper. So something like that. Or if you have canvases at home, that might, might be kind of cool. Okay, so I'm just going to go through the process, process of how you make this. Again, this is kind of what we're aiming for. And if you've ever made puffy slime before, you kind of know where we're going with this. We're not making slime. We're making paint. So that was our orange one. Let me tell you what you need. You're gonna need to pour a little bit of the glue into one of the bowls, okay? I started out with four bowls and I actually just put glue in each one. I didn't put a lot, see there at the bottom. So I filled up kind of like the half of it at the bottom. What I'm gonna do next is take my shaving foam and I'm going to shake it up. Remember, you have to shake it up. And I'm gonna fill the other half of the bottom with shaving foam. So, kind of looks like that. Okay, very easy. Let's pick a color. Let's go blue. I have blue right here. I think I did about okay. 10 drops of color. Okay, I'm done. About 10 drops of color here. I'm done. And if you need more, you can always add more later. So, I just put the color on like that. And we're just going to mix. Mix it up until it's really, really well mixed together. Okay. It makes this is one of my favorite colors these neon blues and purples are so pretty okay so we'll mix it it won't take too long if an adult's doing it if a kid's doing it, it might take a little bit longer but that's all you do so we've got a blue paint we've got an orange paint and we're ready to paint there now i have another bowl so we can walk through it one more time so i just feel kind of filled up half of the bottom probably not even a full four ounce bottle of glue so I'll put some on the bottom and I'm going to put the equal amount of shaving cream down at the bottom too. Okay, so it'll look kind of like that. And it doesn't have to be exact. If you need more glue or more shaving foam, you'll be able to tell. You can always add it later. Uh, let's take a purple and do about 10 drops of purple in there. Okay, 10. And then let's look at that. See, it's just going to be all glob together there and we're going to mix again. Actually, I'm going to hand this off to Oliver so he can finish mixing it for me. Okay. And then all you'll need after that, see I'm already messy here. I need some paper towels. Um, is your paper. Don't eat the paint. That was really gross. So you can either take your paint and put it on there and drops like this kind of like if you're making cookies and you dropped it on the 
the tray and you can move it around with a spoon to draw something okay and it's meant to be thick on the paper so let me see if I can kind of turn it sideways so you can see it's meant to be thick on the paper uh, when it dries, which it'll take probably overnight for this to dry, so you've got to be patient. When it dries, it'll stay puffy like that, which is what's really cool about this. Now, I did a project with this, oh gosh, probably a month, two months ago, and okay. hung it on my wall in my office, and it's still puffy. So if you aren't too pokey with your fingers, you'll be able to keep it for a while. Okay, and if you want, you can get some paint brushes. Oliver was using a paintbrush earlier, and you can do the same thing. So you're just going to use it like a paint. Any, any regular paint, get some orange and put it on there. Okay, I'm done. And you can draw a picture. So that's today's art project. It's super easy and really, really cool when you finish with it. And Oliver, do you want to show us what you made with your orange puffy paint over there? Yeah, I made a face. Okay, let's show them. Here you go. All right, so there's Oliver's project, and you can see he left it kind of thick on the top, so it'll be puffy later. I'm going to put this somewhere out of his reach because he'll probably stick his finger in there. So, and I'll let it dry throughout the afternoon. We'll check it and then probably overnight. So if you guys have any questions, just let me know. Uh, put a comment below if you need any help. I don't mind helping out. And I hope this will be a fun afternoon. This is really a cool project. So, and it's super easy. Um, just let me know. And as always, we would like to see your pictures. If you make this project, use a hashtag DOS Kids at Home. <laughs> All right, and we will see you guys on Tuesday for story time. Bye.